Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the mechanisms by which the enzymes convert the substrates into product. So the first one is the lock and key model and the second one is the induced fit model. And the lock and key model is also known as the template model. And after this model, Koshland gave another theory, which is the induced fit theory. And we are going to look into it in brief today. The first one is the lock and key model. Imagine a lock and a key, just like every lock has a specific key, which means that the key's shape needs to fit into the shape of the lock. That is only when the lock will open. Similarly, this model suggests that every enzyme's active side needs to be complementary with the shape of the substrate. So this model was proposed by Emil Fisher in 1894. And according to this model, the shape of the substrate and the active site of the enzyme are thought to fit together just like a key fits into its lock. As you can see here in this figure, that this is the enzyme, this is the active site of the enzyme. The substrate that has to bind to this active site need to have a shape complementary to the shape of the active site. And when it binds like that, that is when the catalysis take place and the products are formed. So the two shapes are considered to be rigid and fixed and they perfectly complement each other when brought together in the right alignment. That is what the lock and key model says. Talking about the next model that is the induced fit model, this was proposed by Koshland in 1958 and this is different than the lock and key model. In the lock and key model, it said that the shape of the active site is rigid and not flexible. This model suggests that the shape of the active site of the enzyme is flexible and it can change its conformation in a way that it is able to induce the fit of the substrate onto it and lead to the production of the uh, products. So it states that the binding of the substrate induces a conformational change in the active site of the enzyme. And the enzyme may distort the uh, substrate, forcing it into a conformation similar to that of the transition state. So basically, the active side and the substrate can mold their shape a little bit in order to fit into each other. That is what the induced fit model says. And one of the important examples of uh, uh, an enzyme that follows this kind of uh, induced fit model is when the glucose binds to the hexokinase enzyme in the glycolysis pathway. So, you know, uh, when glucose um, is acted upon by hexokinase for the production of glucose 6-phosphate here, it is seen that the um, there is an induction of a conformational change in the structure of the enzyme hexokinase so that the glucose can fit into the enzyme. So that is the example of induced fit model. 